Hi, this is Justice, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the Blend tool, the Smudge tool, the Clone tool, the Eraser tool, and lastly, the Fill tool. So let's start with the Blend tool. Uh, we're going to use the acrylic brush and add a little bit of color on the screen so we can see the effects of the Blend tool. By the way, the keyboard shortcuts here are N, S, C, E, and no default one for fill. So blend, we're going to see the colors blending. This will pull color from one area into another area. And blending has a number of different brushes you can choose. So I have hard selected, you can choose soft, soft and noisy, textured, which I think is rather nice or hard, this one has a harder edge. You can see how those colors are blending. Let's go ahead and move to Smudge, and we are going to undo that. And Smudge is going to pull everything as opposed to blend. You can see we have four options here, and you can use the Brush Creator to create your own variants. So Soft, Soft 2, this is a more processor heavy task. So on certain systems, if this brush size is very large, then it'll slow down your system as it does this. Let's go ahead and demonstrate smudge only wet. So before we do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on show wet. We're going to wet the entire layer and we're going to grab the watercolor brush and we're going to paint here while this is still diffusing. We're going to go back to the smudge tool and we are going to push. You can see we're pushing the wet areas here. Now, if we turn this off, let's go ahead and hide this so you can see this better. Smudge only wet. And the difference there between smudge only wet being on and off. So you can see how smudge only wet works. All right, let's go to clone. Clone, we have a couple different options. We have aligned and, and non-aligned. So for this, actually, I'm going to draw a little man. And he's happy. Hello, everybody. Hello. So here he is. And let's give him a little hat. Very nice hat, little man. So we're going to take the clone tool and we have aligned on. So I'm going to take my brush. I'm going to increase the size a little bit so it encompasses his whole body. We're going to click Alt and click on the little man. We have uh, a target pinned on the little man's stomach. So over here, I'm going to draw in another little man, another little man, and I can make a whole village very quickly. And this is now sourcing this image here as well. So what what I want you to see is this is not aligned with the original image. Now, if I were to go over here, let's turn on aligned. This, let's click Alt, and we're going to click right here. So now our target is this section right here. As soon as I start painting, it is going to start painting. It's going to start cloning from this location and then it will continue to move across the canvas that way whereas here if aligned is turned off it will just paint that section over and over again the eraser tool so what we can do let's go ahead and wet the layer let's clear the layer and we're going to wet the layer and show wet Let's go ahead and add some color in here. So we're going to erase and you can see as we erase, it's not only erasing the color on the screen, but it is also erasing the wetness. So we can do this right here and we can erase, but this will keep the wetness of the layer and only remove the color. Let's go ahead and clear the layer again. And let's go to the last tool, the fill tool. So fill has a number of different options. We're going to set this to zero and we're going to turn these off, all of these off. Let's make a 
freehand selection, and now we're going to fill that. We're going to hit Control D to deselect it. And you can see that this fill has some rough pixelated edges. We do not have anti-aliasing turned on. Let's go ahead and step back a few stages with anti-aliasing turned on. Let's go ahead and fill this again. This is with it turned on. It is much smoother with anti-aliasing turned on. Now let's add again a few more colors so that I can explain some of the other things going on here. All right, that looks good. Now going back to the fill tool, uh, let's actually let's sample this. So we add, we have two sections of orange here. So when we go to the fill tool and we choose contiguous, what this means is that if I fill right here, let's go ahead and choose a different color. If I fill orange, it's going to fill orange everywhere on the screen. If I turn on contiguous and I click here, it's only going to fill what's touching one pixel to the next pixel. So here, and what this is doing is this is selecting only one color. So if we look here at this color wheel, uh, these colors here are touching. The way that tolerance works is tolerance is giving you a range. Let's go ahead and let's blend this a little bit. So that we have a little bit more, a little bit more range in our colors. Okay, so we're gonna go back to the fill tool and tolerance here, let's turn off contiguous, anti-aliasing. Tolerance of 50 means that this is going to vary up and down 25 from this color. Looking over here at the color wheel, what you'll notice is that orange and yellow are next to each other and green is over here. So if I click here, it's going to go from this orange color and it's gonna to go towards red and it's gonna to go towards yellow with an increment of 25 down and 25 up. I think that makes sense. So here, if we wanted this to include green, which is the next color here on this wheel, we're gonna to have to bring this color up a little bit more. You can see it starts to include this green. So the way that tolerance works is tolerance is going to take whatever color we click on and it's going to go up and down on the color wheel the amount that we select. So if we select 20, this is going to go 10 down and 10 up, or 10 left and 10 right on the color wheel, and allow you to fill those colors as well. So orange, if we click on orange, we have a color selected. Let's go ahead and select red. So we're going to fill the color red. We're going to click on the color orange. Tolerance of 20, that means that 10 up and 10 down of orange over here on the wheel. That means we're going to start filling some of the red and we're gonna start filling some of the yellow. So if I click here, you can see we filled some red and some yellow. If we want to increase this, let's put it up to around 50. This is going to, because we're clicking on orange, looking over here on the wheel, this is going to go, this is going to go 25 and 25 on the orange. By the way, this entire, the entire wheel is 255. So here we click here and you can see that this has increased that tolerance and is including more colors from the color wheel. All right, let's go ahead and set that back to zero. So we're gonna go ahead and select use alpha. So alpha, we're gonna turn that on. We're gonna choose the selection tool. And to make this a little bit more transparent, what we're gonna do is we're going to select one section fill it with alpha, and then we're going to select the other section and fill it uh, with alpha turned off. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and select here. You can see it has filled in. We're going to come back over here, deselect, make a new selection, and we're gonna fill this one with alpha turned off. You should very easily be able to see the difference between these two. I like how natural this one fills in the color where it's respecting the transparency of the pixels that were already on the screen. All right, guys, that's it for this video. If you have questions or comments, put it in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.